Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Dr. Vijay Bhatia and today we are going to talk about cocaine intoxication. How do we identify what will be the symptoms in somebody who has taken cocaine to a great extent. Cocaine is obtained from a plant's product and converted into a white powder which is then taken and abused for recreational purposes. Physical symptoms may include a fast heart rate, sweating and large pupils. The pupil size is dilated, the pupils are dilated. High doses can result in very high blood pressure and high temperature. Effects begin within seconds to minutes of use and last between 5 and 90 minutes. The reason for this is because it is absorbed very quickly from the nose mucous membranes and is transported to the brain into the nerve cells very quickly. Cocaine has a small number of accepted medical uses such as numbing and decreasing bleeding during nasal surgery, but this is hardly used for these purposes anymore. Cocaine is very addictive. That means the effect, even if you take for a short period, the effect on the reward pathway in the brain is huge. After a short period of use, there is a high risk that dependence will occur. Its use also increases the risk of stroke, that is, clot in the brain or the artery gets blocked or there might be bleeding inside the brain. Myocardial infarction, that is heart attack, or lung problems in those who smoke it, and blood infections and sudden cardiac death, sudden heart death. Blood infections because people sometimes inject into their veins. We talked about the reward pathway. What happens? This is a brain and this is the reward pathway. In the midbrain, there is an area called ventral tegmental area, which has nerve cells. And these nerve cells send the signals through the axons to the area called nucleus accumbens. This is a reward center of the brain. If you get stimulation from any excitement, like winning the game, winning the lottery, or winning the race, or passing your exam, or doing well in your interview, getting the job, getting paid, eating your food that you want, this area gets stimulated and that is the reason that you feel pleasure, excited, happy and keep on going. And this is rewarded every time these nerve cells get stimulated and release dopamine here. And also this goes to the prefrontal cortex this is area mostly to with the planning, with the, with the uh, judgment, decision making. So they all are interlinked and produce the feeling of good. Now, we talked about the, those tegmental area. They have axons and they terminate onto the nerve cells in the in the nucleus accumbens in the uh, reward center. And what happens is when dopamine is produced in these cells and it is transported in these little vesicles, they come to the terminal and they, when this one gets stimulated, they will release a neurotransmitter called dopamine into the synapse. The idea is that this dopamine will attach with the dopamine receptor and cause the happy feeling. 
any excess of dopamine that will be left there will be taken back into the nerve ending so that it can be used again and so this process keeps on going so every time this cell gets excited or stimulated this will release the dopamine here and that dopamine will attach here and this process keeps on going so you feel happy so what happens if we take dopamine now we talked about that these gates or dopamine receptors in this case they are dopamine dopamine transporter because they take the excess of the dopamine in the synapse back into the cell to convert into the vesicles where it is stored for to release it further when the when the nerve gets stimulated and if we take cocaine this cocaine will attach to this dopamine receptor and that will block the uptake of the dopamine from the synapse back into the cell so as a result there will be more dopamine so the idea is that you will feel more happy more excited more energetic and for longer however this dopamine has a half-life that means it can be metabolized by the enzymes present in the synapse and also within the within the glial cells that are surrounding these and cocaine has this special property to attach with the dopamine transporter which will prevent the reuptake of the dopamine back into the into the vesicles and so if you can see here there was no cocaine attached more dopamine is coming into the into the neuron into the cell whereas if cocaine is attached to the dopamine dopamine transporter less amount of dopamine will be taken back into the vesicles this happens not only with the dopamine but this also happens with noradrenaline and noradrenaline receptors are very much similar to dopamine transporters and these cocaine molecules will attach to the noradrenaline transporter and also to the serotonin transporter so therefore noradrenaline is the neurotransmitter for fight and flight and the serotonin is more to do with mood and sleep so all these three things will be affected if the person is taking cocaine what happens if you take too much cocaine there will be intoxication and in the intoxication there must be dysfunctional behavior or perpetual perceptual abnormalities as evidenced by at least one of the following which is euphoria euphoria means feeling happy feeling energetic feeling good as if you have taken a good food you enjoyed it and you will feel better and there will be sensations of increased energy they will be hyper vigilant you will be looking around for the people uh, for other things the colors will be more bright the music will be more pleasant or uh, any sound any talk will be more you will be more uh, vigilant what is happening around you you may become grandiose meaning you have abilities you you can do things that other people can't do you have special skills you might drive fast you might uh, uh, do things that you will not dare otherwise and uh, it's so grandiose beliefs and you take actions as well and you may become abusive aggressive irritated 
restless or arg argumentative there will be liability of mood liability of mood means there are mood swings sometimes high sometimes low for no apparent reason you might be crying for no apparent reason you might be laughing so it varies it varies very quickly there is some kind of repetitive stereotype behavior stereotype is when we can identify this person is going to behave that way and there may be some illusions that means there is an object present there's let's say there's a light present you might see the light as flickering as very bright as very good or you may find that there is a sound uh, um, some music is go going on but you uh, give a special importance to it it is slightly distorted uh, in a way and uh, so and sometimes with the tactile even with the skin you feel as if there is some sensations on on your skin and in in chronic cocaine abuses the word is used cocaine bug that means something is crawling under your skin and uh, they, they, there is nothing there but the feeling is there as if there is something crawling under the skin they might develop hallucinations that means there is no stimulus no light no no sound or anything and they still hear those things and sometimes they can be hallucination of hearing people as if somebody is commanding them somebody is telling them when no one is there so this is hallucination is perception without any stimulus without any objective stimulus outside the brain and the brain just uh, makes those things it's not even imagination it is as if to them it is a true perception and they act on that uh, they may become paranoid they may become suspicious or do not trust other people they might heard other people talking their name and they will think they are talking bad things about them and it can interfere with their personal functioning so whatever they are doing even if they are driving their driving will not be good they might end up in accident if they are cooking they might burn the food so whatever the intern uh, personal functioning is there they will not be able to perform it properly what about physical symptoms with the physical symptoms at least two of these must be present out of 11 so number one is the tachycardia tachycardia means very high pulse rate the heart is racing very fast sometimes if the intoxication is too much it can be even bradycardia or if you are brought to the and after a long time by that time the body is totally exhausted and this time the heart rate is very slow less than 60 beats per minute and tachycardia is heartbeat more than 120 beats per minute cardiac arrhythmias arrhythmias means the cardiac the heart is not uh, contracting at rhythms the rhythm is irregular it can be very dangerous because this irregular heartbeat can lead to cardiac arrest and sudden cardiac death hypertension means high blood pressure a systolic more than 140 millimeter of mercury and diastolic more than 90 millimeter of mercury uh, uh, and in extreme cases it can be even hypotension when the blood pressure falls very low and uh, it, that can be very dangerous as well uh, sweating and chills and their forehead their palms even their skin is sweaty uh, and uh, because of the adrenaline rush they may, may feel nausea they may, may vomit actually and there might be some evidence of weight loss their pupils are dilated when they, when you look at their eyes the pupil is really dilated both of them and there might be psychomotor agitation or psychomotor retardation if it is quite severe psychomotor agitation is you are very restless your muscles want to move and jump and do whatever you want to do and they become restless inability to stand still or sit still muscular weakness can be there because of the overworking of the muscles and getting exhausted you might get the chest pain because of the irregular heart rate or the muscles getting exhausted 
and they might even have convulsions like epileptic fit which can be quite severe and dangerous because people can vomit bite their tongue and urinate in their in the in the trousers clothes so it can be quite severe and dangerous the other diagnostic notes are there because the cocaine use is normally in the groups of people getting together with friends their personal functioning is interfered very quickly and it is very noticeable to friends the moment they take the drug they are jumping and laughing and joking uh, and uh, and they whatever performance there if they are driving you can see that they are not able to drive they're not able to cook they're not able to even dress themselves so it, it is quite evident from the beginning with extreme gregariousness they become very gregarious want to talk to anyone even stranger and be friendly but at the same time within short period they may be just getting social withdrawal they don't like anybody because they get very suspicious of them thank you for watching this video if you like this video please press the like button and share with your friends subscribe the channel for more uh, uh, topics on the addiction intoxication in alcohol and cannabis and other videos on the mental disorder i will see you in my next video